And that is, of course, our top story of yes! today. Oh my God. Guys, yes. guys, I'm beginning to think <laughs> that a lot of these homies want to fuck the green M&M. Okay. I'm also beginning to think that the top of the hour is here and there's a six second ad break coming to you right now. Obviously. Eminem decided to do Eminem's decided to do some something. I don't even know what the fuck it actually is. I think they like I guess they are here. Let's look at this first. This is the this is what they did, okay? Where like they made it more non-binary or some shit. I don't fucking know. Here, let's look. It's candy. Who cares? One for all, and all for fun. So basically what it is is like, First of all, they didn't do anything. Like, they actually didn't do anything. They just basically said that, like, our M&Ms are just, like, 10% gayer now. You know what I mean? Or whatever the fuck. Right? They were just like, hey, welcome. Like, you're gonna have M&Ms, but they're also gay. I think they're pussies. Let me tell you why. No, it's just like... it. No, it's they so don't go gay. far enough. But I it, think they need to put an M&M in drag. That's what they need to do. Like, what the... It's an M&M! Why are you dipping your toes in it? Just go the whole fucking way. But like, but it's an M&M. How you know, are you going to ya yassify the M&M? Yassify M &M's? the fucking M&M. How? But like, put how? It up. Do it up. You really want to be with us? Then fucking do it up. Don't dip your toes in to signal something. Fucking put that M&M in drag. Make it gay. I want a gay M&M. That's what I want. I want rainbow M&Ms. You know? Seriously. Don't give me this little, look at us. We welcome you because we want you to buy our shit. Dive in head first. I just don't, I like, I mean, I know you're joking, but, but what is really fucking stupid uh, ultimately is that like, it's, it's candy, like, and it, it, this is, this is basically every corporation that wants to like, you know, get involved and do a PR press play will just, you know, dip their toe in the outrage cycle, right? And immediately the machine that's hungry for uh, ratings and hungry to reinforce their their you know ideological boundaries will then dive head first into this conversation right where you'll have the conservatives be like what do you mean homosexual m&ms what the fuck like you know fuck that shit oh well, wow my kids are gonna be gay for eating m&ms yeah you're making <laughs> you're making my m&ms non-binary fuck you i want to fuck my m&ms like you fucking <laughs> piece of shit and then like and then the other side's like, no, I love the gay Eminem. I'm literally putting the gay Eminem inside of me right now. Like, it's my favorite. Holy fuck, I'm gonna buy so many more Eminems. It's always like, it's like, it's like ping pong for the outrage. Okay, it's outrage ping pong. And the only one that benefits from all of this, obviously, is the company itself. Uh, you know, that is uh, avoiding controversy about, uh, like, uh, what do you call it? Fucking. Is m and are m ms Nestle? Is that what it is? I love the fucking, like, the, the silly, like, leftist, uh, I just learned, uh, leftism from the internet meme where it's like, m ms doing this to avoid the PR controversy of child slave labor. Like, dude, that's been happening already. Like, okay, that's quite literally happening already. Okay? The article that you're posting is 11 months old. They didn't come out with this now, dumbass. Okay? It's, it, it's old. Like this is this already happened. This already happened. They won. You're you're stupid M -M -M's for M -M -M's won? for thinking that that is the reason why they're doing this. Like, oh man, the big narrative actually is they're trying to fucking yeah. They won. They won. They won. They won. So let's Woo! finish this. I think they made it like more non-binary or something or like the orange one is anxious or has like anxiety. It's just so fucking stupid.
Uh, <laughs> it's so fucking stupid, dude. It's so stupid. But so they're they have an M and M that has anxiety and they're torturing them by putting them in a commercial. Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson. Like this M and M has stage. Wait, this is not the this is not Tucker Carlson's. We're moving closer to war. No, I want to see the M and I thought this was the Tucker Carlson M and M one. Okay. Think so, about how brutal that is. So let me just. Eminem has crippling anxiety. In dude, I fucking I I, just, I hate it. The Eminem is an national. empath. The Eminem's an empath. One of the Eminem's have imposter syndrome. It's okay. cool. Look at this Eminem one of, one with of the, anxiety. He's on a global stage. One of the Eminem's is gay. One of the Eminem's bisexual. One of the Eminem's is saying bisexual visibility. <clears throat> anyway, so you know my man. The man, the myth, the legend, okay, who obviously doesn't have anything better to do with his time, has decided to cover the story. I mean, look, if you are a solid anti-imperialist leftist like Tucker Carlson, like, this is what you got to talk about. You got to talk about this. The other big change, the other big change is that the brown M&M has, quote, transitioned from high stilettos to lower block heels, also less sexy. That's progress. M&Ms will not be satisfied until every last cartoon character is deeply unappealing and totally androgynous. What? Dude, are you trying to fuck the m and <laughs> Why are you trying to fuck the m and dude? You are so weird, bro. What is happening? <clears throat> what is happening? Like, we used to make jokes about, like, Lola Bunny not being hot. I'm so mad. What the fuck? Like, whatever. We used to jerk. We used to joke about that. And now this dude is actually engaging in like literal weeb behavior. And it's not even like a sexy character. He's not even like fucking Jojo rule 34. It's M&Ms. They've already, they've, all, they've always been androgynous. I didn't think they'd be mad at it being less sexy. I thought they'd be mad at it. She ain't got no titties, less... Tucker. What are you looking at? Until the moment you wouldn't want to have a drink with any one of them. That's the goal. When you're totally turned off, you don't want to have a drink with anyone. Any single oh, just... Also less sexy. That's progress. M&Ms will not be satisfied until every last cartoon character is deeply unappealing and totally androgynous. Until the moment you wouldn't want to have a drink with any one of them. That's the goal. When you... What do you mean have a drink with any one of them? Like, what does that mean? He is just bricked up, dude. He is bricked up. Hard as diamonds, so fucking erect it should be illegal talking about these M&Ms. You're totally turned off. We've achieved equity. They've won. I can't really tell much of a difference. The other big truthfully. Well, Tucker can. Anxiety. He's been following it closely. I can't see much Knowledge of a difference. and embrace his anxiety. And actually, if you look at him, the orange M&M does appear very anxious. Maybe he doesn't like all the ugly new shoes he sees around him. Maybe he liked the sexy boots. Maybe the orange m M&M is a secret sexist himself. We don't know. We're gonna... It's just like, dude, I can't believe he did a media hit on this, dude. It's awesome. I'm sorry, man. So, yeah, putting you're going to tell me? You're going to tell me conservatives are not fucking hilarious, dude? No, but putting the fucking anxious m M&M... Like, I get the, I get the fucking t thing that he's trying to say. He's trying to say that, like, oh, man, you know, Eminem is doing something so laughable and so stupid, okay? But the unfortunate reality is that it comes across like the, the prior Eminem was fuckable, okay? Well, not the unfortunate. The fortunate reality is that, you know, he is basically saying he wanted to fuck the previous Eminem and he no longer wants to fuck him. He is, Tucker Carlson is a quirked up white boy who's goaded on the sauce, okay? It's obvious to me. That much is clear. Beforehand, I thought Tucker Carlson was, you know, that he was just a regular, boring conservative. And now I know he is quirked the fuck up, okay? He's goaded on the sauce, and he has an m, &M fetish. He wants it. He wants it bad. He's like, damn, that ass can fart. 